my father took me to home state. Uh, boxing was in my blood. Uh, I said to my father, uh, uh, make me a stand. Uh, from there, uh, he took me to home Henry state. Boxing has been my life for as long as I can remember. My father taught me to throw a punch, to duck it, and sometimes to catch it. I have lived my life as a young man with only one desire at heart, and that was to become a world champion. Growing up in the streets of Tukomsras, one had to learn to defend himself anyway. Meeting Um Andre Stein, one of the great boxing trainers of the past, is when it all started. In a chilly Monday afternoon, that is when my father brought me to train to become a real boxing fighter. From that day, I squared with all great fighters of my time. Tietzi Moretruane, Ruben Riani, Chris Whiteboy, Brian Baronet, Brian Michel, the Hall of Famer, Job Sisanga, Thomas Sitebe, Nika the Sting Kumalo, Bashi Mushweu, Frank Konkobe, Nufuyo Kakaza, Roberto Rubaldino, Grant Macias, and even Danny Maybeck, the fighter I beat but lost. I did fight to win in my professional record of 56 fights, 43 wins, 7 losses and 6 draws says it all. I defended my South African lightweight title for 15 times. I have traveled the world, I went to Madrid and boxed the welterweight fighters in my lightweight body without any complaints. I have also been nominated as the King Kong South African Boxer of the Year in the summer of 1982. Just when I was about to leave my dream and get the shot to a world title fight, Ray Boom Boom Mancini for his WBA title. The dark cloud went over my head and covered my dreams. It happened in November 1994 from gym on the way to my house. That evening, I was unfortunately shot two times unlawfully by the police officer with the use of the R5 rifle in a short range distance, wounding both of my thighs. The injuries were so severe, hence it took me three months to get back to my unstable feet when I left the hospital. I do vividly remember when I felt the unbearable pain from my legs up the spine across my heart when those two bullets hit me. Later I realized the pain I suffered from the bullets was not comparable to the big pain I had to swallow when I was told I could not fight again. The world title could only be a dream and a nightmare one it became. Today, life is a challenge. I have exhausted all my funds and options, pursuing compensations from those who are responsible for my misery life, and sadly, I have not succeeded. Today, in year 2020, in my early 60s, I am still living with my mother in her one-bedroom RTP house nursing her daily as she is suffering from old age syndromes. Every day is like taking a punch with your hands tied on your back, that's how it feels. I am honestly not complaining at all, however any help will be much appreciated by myself and my dear mother. I had my great young days as a fighter, I enjoy the fighting game. I fought to win all the times, even though few times I came short. Fight until the very end. That is one of my father's lessons I treasure deep in my heart. Indeed, I will fight until the very end. Do pray for us, 
but more for my old lady. She really needs more help than I do. Aladdin Stevens, the main machine. And you were a lightweight? Yeah, yeah. Because they didn't uh, want to fight me anymore in the lightweight. And uh, they offered me a fight with Brian uh, Baronet. And what happened with that fight, uh, I uh, started uh, 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 getting uh, uh, some flu. And I said to him, he mustn't pull out of the fight. I'll continue with the fight. So uh, I went into the fight and uh, the, the, the first, second round, I didn't feel no, I, I'm not the same uh, like I used to be. Yes. And, uh, and uh, third round, I did two uh, one punches in throw. The uh, baronet. And that, uh, so, uh, that, uh, let me, uh, 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 stop the fight.